there was a Latin inscription in the Temple of Apollo in Delphi saying, Noshet Apsum, which means know thyself. Knowing yourself is the key factor for building your own reality, overcoming life challenges efficiently, and contributing to having improved mental health. Once, I was told that we, humans, are born three times during our life. The first time is our physical birth. The second one is the awakening, that is, when we find our purpose in this life. And the third one is our death. I always compare the second birth with the Greek mythology of Labyrinth, where the Athenian hero Theseus' mission is to find and kill the monster called Minotaur that lives in the labyrinth. And after that, finding his way out of there with the help of the thread that is given to him by the Cretan princess Ariadne. The searching phase of our life is the labyrinth, and self-recognition is our mission there. That is, to look within ourselves, find the fears and problems that keep us away from the life that we want to have, and try to find solutions for it. In my life, I've happened to meet my monster. And that was when, last year, I was diagnosed with stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma, a type of blood cancer. I was supposed to feel frustrated, but surprisingly, I faced the reality and fought my battle with my monster. Before the treatments, I used to overthink quite a lot regarding unnecessary issues that were full of self-hatred and feelings of worthlessness. Those feelings put me at the edge of despair. I felt trapped within my own labyrinth. But why it is so? And what is the awakening? How does it connect to self-recognition? The thing is that the lack of self-awareness makes us compare ourselves with others, put ourselves down, and sometimes do things that we indeed do not want to do. What is the reason of that? Why do we belittle ourselves? Why do we limit our potentials? It is because we do not know who we are. Right at the moment, when we step at the threshold of self-recognition, we start to know each layer of ours and begin to understand the reality. And that is the first step, the awakening, which is followed by the second one, killing the monster. That is uprooting the fears to enable ourselves achieve victory over difficulties. Self-recognition supports us to go through hardships that life gives us. Otherwise, life will keep repeating the same scenario over and over again until the moment we learn the lesson that is meant for us to learn. Or we will end up being in a situation that would be a nightmare for others, but a healing process for us. Such process for me were my treatments. Right at the moment, when I realized that all I had was that moment, I began to appreciate everything that surrounded me, my family, friends, time, and life. But the most significant part of this was that I started to revalue myself. Back then, little did I know that every single day was meant for me to learn a little bit more about myself to use my time more productively and positively, rather than waste it on negative thoughts and unimportant ideas. Despite the medications, there was also another healing tool for me, silence. As I was being cured at hospital, all I had was silence. One of my favorite poets, Rumi, once wrote, there is a voice that doesn't use words. Listen. And I listened. 
we do not need actual words to comprehend the wisdom of life. Silence has it as well. All we have to do is to listen. All those months that I wish I will never experience again made me feel like a plant growing out of the seed. It was tough and amazing at the same time. As a result, the monster died. The victory of this challenge was self-recognition full of self-discoveries. This step was followed by the third and last one. And for that, Ariadne's thread comes for help. In our case, that is mental health. Self-awareness reduces mental stress and supports us to go through the hardships that life gives us. In 2018, the Journal of Health and Reviews published an article about the research that aimed to find the connection between self-knowledge sources and mental stress. The findings revealed that there is a notable and negative correlation between self-awareness and mental disease. In other words, when you know yourself, you decrease the possibility of stress, anxiety, and depression. Many of us have read many books regarding self-recognition, watched movies, and heard wise people talk about it. But only when we go through challenges, only after that we truly understand the meaning of those words. Knowing yourself supports you to create your individual reality, remove life barriers, and be mentally stable to face the difficulties. So take the chance, start the journey of self-recognition, and enter your labyrinth now. Thank you.